In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create charts that have conditional formatting and that will update dynamically based on the data that's in the table. So for example, here I have monthly sales versus forecasted sales. This thin dotted line is the forecast. And for data points that are below that forecast value, the chart will automatically format those data points as red. And then opposite of that, the data points that are above the uh, forecasted sales are formatted in green. And just as an example, if I update one of the values in the chart, you can see that last data point is green. If I update that to below the forecast, that data point actually reformats to a red data point. So how do we set this up? Let's start from scratch here with our data, and I'm gonna turn this into a table right away. I always like working with tables because they update dynamically. Let's go ahead and insert a chart right away from this table. And we can see our sales and forecast. The way we do this is we have to create two new data series for the values that are above the forecast and for the values that are below the forecast and sales modes. So I'll add a column here called above forecast and then below forecast. Oops. This is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is say if sales amount is greater than the forecasted sales then we're going to return the forecast or the actual sales dollar value and if not then we're going to return an na value which is kind of like an error value or miscalculation value but what that means for the chart is that um, it won't register these na values it won't actually plot those points so it'll just skip them so then to do the below forecast it's the same thing and in fact i'll just copy this so i'll just copy right over into the next cell and then I'll just change the sign to less than. And you can see our chart is already kind of reformatting. So all we have to do from here is just um, finish this up by changing the formatting a little bit so it shows the way we want it to. And we'll do that by hiding the lines on the conditionally formatted values. So we'll hide the lines of the above values and we'll say no lines so they don't actually show, but then we'll want to add markers so we can see those values on the data plot. So now we have our a marker added for the above forecast data points. So we'll just kind of reformat this. We'll give it a fill. So the above data points will give a green fill. And we'll just make it a nice black outline. And then I'm also going to reformat the forecast line just to kind of make this look good. And we'll just make it black. And then for the below values, we'll select that. We'll say no line again. And then we'll go to the markers, add markers round data point and we'll give that a red fill with a black outline and then the last thing to do is we're actually editing the sales data here we will make sure there's no markers on that so they don't show and then we will go to the line and we do want a line to show so um, we have kind of all the points connected like that so I'll give that a black line and just kind of thin it out a little bit and there we go. Now our chart is set up so that this will dynamically format based on these two parameters. So really it comes down to just setting up the data table in a way that it only displays points that you want to see um, based on the conditions that you're using.